Today I'll be sharing with all of you 5 tips to recover and grow from a heartbreak. Hello everyone, welcome to the Nasty Dynasty where we all learn about life changing habits, skill sets, and mindsets to help us all become more nasty. Today we will be talking about relationships. To be specific, broken ones. I love talking about relationships because I'm able to share about the lessons that I've learned from my small fair share of experience and I really hope that you guys are able to learn a thing or two from them. A heartbreak doesn't necessarily need to be from experiencing a breakup. It can include rejections or other experiences involving somebody that you like that cause you to have negative emotions. I personally feel that a heartbreak is the perfect opportunity for somebody to grow and mature. So my tips might be a bit weird but I hope that you guys can relate to them to a certain extent and maybe find them entertaining or something. Okay, enough of the boring stuff. Let's jump right into the first tip which is to understand your emotions. Back when I experienced my first major heartbreak, I didn't really know what exactly I was feeling because I was experiencing a lot of different emotions like sadness, anger, jealousy, fear and all sorts of other emotions. I learned that it is super important for you to first recognize and understand these emotions before you even try to control your feelings. Something that I did that actually worked for me was to have a reflection diary. So basically at the end of every day right, I will jot down my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, everything. By doing that, I actually understood myself a lot better and I think I did it for about 3 months before I was able to like properly control my feelings. Something that I also learned is that understanding your emotions is much more sustainable than just casting them aside and replacing them with fake and superficial emotions that will make yourself feel better. The second tip is to confide in your friends. Solving the problem yourself is not always the best solution. Sometimes we are just too overwhelmed with our own emotions and thoughts such that we are unable to think straight or even breathe. Actually, I'm quite curious. Uh. I don't know whether any of you have felt this before. Like whenever I think about something sad that happened in the past, like my chest starts to feel very heavy and it gets very very difficult for me to breathe. Okay, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but basically right, your friends might be able to give you a different point of view from a third party's perspective that might be able to give you a completely different view of the situation that can help you accelerate your recovery and growth. During this entire heartbreak phase, right, we're actually very vulnerable and susceptible to a lot of different feedback and opinions. So make sure that your friends are those kind of positive people that can actually help you to grow rather than people that constantly try to bring you down by telling you that you're not enough. I vividly remember every single person that helped me through my first heartbreak because that was my lowest point and it basically helped me to bring me back up to who I am today and I guess these are the people that I still hold close to my heart and regard them as close friends. The third tip is to actually stop blaming the other party. It's super easy for us to just put the blame on someone else because in order to find blame in yourself, you have to really put aside your pride and your ego. But I guess if you constantly try to blame someone else for something not working out, then you yourself, you're not making a change and you're not learning anything. For me right, when I actually went through my first heartbreak, I was super confused about what went wrong. Like, is it my fault? Is it her fault? Is it like a third party's fault or some shit? Like, I really had no idea. And at that point, I think the easiest way for me to do something about it was to just blame myself. By putting all the pressure and blame on myself rather than the other party or a third person, it's actually much easier for me to pick up on my mistakes and actually learn from them. Like I actually took the effort to go and think about what went wrong throughout the relationship and try to go and make adjustments to myself and improve myself to ensure that these kinds of things don't happen in the future. If I was to constantly put the blame on someone else, I myself won't learn anything and I'll still remain as the same person. And because of that, I might cause the same amount of hurt to someone else in the future just because of my stupid pride and ego. So if you think that you can handle it, throw all the responsibility and blame to yourself and use that emotional pressure to grow into a better version of yourself, somebody that you can be proud of. The fourth tip is to remember the good memories. Sometimes when we are experiencing unbearable pain, the easiest way for us to get through it is to just forget about everything that happened. For me, I knew that forgetting the entire person would be a lot easier than trying to remember. But I guess if I were to forget the entire person, I would be throwing away my bad as well as my good memories. As much as possible, try your best to learn from the bad times and keep those good times etched in your memory. At some point of time, this person was extremely important to you and you have the ability to determine how you want to remember this person as. Of course, this won't be the case for abusive and toxic relationships, but for other relationships wise, try your best to shape your memories into how you want them to look like. I remember during my first major heartbreak, I was actually scrolling through all our pictures every single night because I wanted to ensure that after getting through this phase, I wanted to keep as much memories as I could as possible. I mean like, if I was the happiest with this person, why would I want to forget those happy times? The last but the most important tip will be to grow for yourself and not for someone else. When I experienced my first heartbreak, I was in a constant state of denial. I kept asking myself what went wrong, what can I do to change it, is there anything that I can do now, what could I have done better? And in my mind, the only thing that I could think about was to become somebody that she could love and be proud of in the future. But little did I know, I was actually growing for somebody that isn't even part of my life anymore. Because of the fact that the growth was not exactly self-driven, I could feel myself growing but hating myself more and more because of the fact that this isn't who I envision myself to be. And trust me, that feeling 
is not a very nice feeling. Always remember why you are trying to improve and change yourself slowly into the person that you can love more rather than somebody that another person can love more. Your significant other should not be somebody that wishes to change you but somebody that makes you want to change yourself. As you slowly learn to accept yourself and love yourself, you will eventually find somebody that will accept and love you for you. All in all, I think that everybody has different levels of heartbreaks depending on the person's emotional sensitivity as well as how important the other party was to him or her. For me, when I experienced my first heartbreak, it felt like my entire world just disappeared. If I were given a chance to choose whether or not I want to go through that period again, I would definitely say yes without a doubt because the entire phase was what made me into who I am today. To anybody that is going through their heartbreak phase, I want to let you know that you will get through it. Everything really seems so hard and pointless because such a huge part of your life disappeared. But just take your time and slowly fill up the gap. You will soon realize that what doesn't kill you really does make you stronger. So don't give up and just keep going. With that, I hope that you have learned a thing or two of how to recover and grow from a heartbreak. Do let me know in the comments below if there are any relationship topics that you would like me to talk about and I will be more than happy to discuss about them. If you guys need any advice about any sensitive topics and you want to remain anonymous, you all can let me know on my telonym, telonym, telonym. Thank you so much for staying to the end and I'll see you in the next video. Always remember, stay nasty.